Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for today's video because I am playing around with the brand new Natasha Denona pastel palette. The packaging is beautiful. I love this gradient right here where it goes from mint green all the way up to this pink. Ugh, the details. The color story inside is also really pretty and intriguing. And when I was starting to swatch the shimmer shades, because those are my favorites to swatch, I had to swatch all of them. But you guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But if you want to see how I got this eye look and what I thought of this palette and the colors that are in it, just keep watching. Okay, we are diving into the brand new Natasha Denona pastel palette. This packaging, I actually really like the colors on it. It's just kind of like a gradient from green to pink. Beautiful. Now, diving into this palette, there are some stunning pastel shades in here. Lots of mints, you've got some blues, you got some of the pinky shades, and then the shimmers. Do you see those? I'm excited, I love to swatch the shimmers for you guys, so I'm gonna do that first, so I can kind of decide, because I'm looking at this, and I know that I could go with the mints, I could go with the pinks, which is kind of like my comfort zone, or kind of just go out of the box. I really wanna play around with this yellow shade. I've done one yellow corner, like yellow in the inner corner, and I really liked how that worked out last time, so I kind of want to do it this time, but there's also a really pretty white. It kind of looks like it has a shift to it. I mean, the name is Illusion. So let's get to swatching and figure it out before um, this runs too long. So I am going to swatch all the shimmers. I don't usually do that. I kind of just pick out the ones that speak to me. But this palette, all the shimmers are speaking to me. So we're gonna swatch all of them today. Okay, this first shade is Illusion. And yes, there is a shift. It kind of has like a pinky red shift to it. I don't know if it's actually really showing on camera, but that shade is stunning. Then we have Mint Frost, Dainty, which that one speaks to my soul. Absolutely, it is so icy and pink. Those two together, that would, just those three actually. Then you have Adriatic. And I thought this shade actually looked darker in the pan, but when swatched, this one looks darker. You guys, the last shade, it may have just stolen the spotlight. So this shade right here, this is Starlit. It's a really pretty red to pink I wouldn't say it's a duochrome. It kind of looks like it might have it, but it's kind of got kind of a red to pinky orange. It's really interesting. Then that yellow lemon cello, ooh, beautiful. And then this shade right here, Duet. This one stole my heart. As much as I want to play with like the pink and mint shade, this one has a pink to blue icy shift. It is just stunning. Now that it really made my decision very difficult, I'm gonna go and contemplate what we're doing. I'm not gonna lie, this palette made it really difficult to make a decision. I actually look like I got in a fight with <laughs> the eyeshadows because I was trying to figure out what shades I wanted to do because these three are the shimmers that I wanna play around with. But the pastel mattes, trying to figure that one out. So, I think I have an idea, and I really hope it turns out how I imagine it. <laughs> the first shade I'm gonna go into is this one, Bubble. This blue, I also was looking at Airy, but Airy is a little bit lighter, and I feel like there's gonna be better payoff with Bubble. I'm gonna put that in the outer V and into the lower part of the crease before I buff it out with the mint green brisk. Bear with me. This may be a disaster, who knows? But that's the fun with makeup, is trying it out, seeing how it looks, seeing how it blends, and what colors play well together. If you wanna go on a color discovery today, that is what we are gonna do. And to bubble on a compacted smudge brush, 
I really like this for making the colors concentrated. I'm gonna place it before I blend it out. It is a really pretty shade though. And this is one of those like, she has a couple shades that are more like cream to powder and this one is kind of like that. I do like that formula. It makes it easy to place and smudge out and manipulate. Let me know, have you picked this up? Are you thinking about it? Were you on the fence like I was? I just don't play with a lot of pastels, but I love the quality and she has a really pretty and interesting color story on this one. This blue actually reminds me of like 80s makeup. <laughs> Blues were in. Late 80s, early 90s with the big hair and the blue eyeshadow. Even like blue eyeliner. There's more navy blue than this blue though. I'm gonna grab my Sigma. This is the double-ended brush that came with the Cinderella palette. This is a E54 medium sweeper. I'm gonna pick up this shade Brisk on the smudger and just on the outside of Bubble. Place that. Ooh. This one's kind of, it's a lot of color. I'm just going to place it there. I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually gonna show up. I'm dipping into this pan a lot. It looks like it's shifting the color a little bit, which is fine. It doesn't need to be super green. It is very subtle though. I'm gonna switch over. This is the E38 diffused crease part of it. I didn't add any extra product. I will now. I'm going to place this right here. Is it picking up? Can you guys tell? There is like a difference right here that I see. Are you seeing the same thing? Let me know your thoughts. This may or may not be a disaster. I'm gonna go into the shade Mint Frost. I'm gonna use that on my middle finger. On the back of the box, it even said, um, if you're trying to apply this, use a more dense brush or your fingertip to get that payoff that you're looking for for the metallics. I'm just gonna tap that right here. I'm not gonna to go too blown out on it because I don't want it to like fluff in the crease. That shade is really pretty on that blue. I'm just tap, 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 tapping. That's gonna be mermaid vibes, you guys. What do you think? And now I'm gonna go into the shade Duet. That pink to purple shift that it had, I think it'll play well with the blue and the green. So I'm gonna take that on my ring finger. And mostly starting in my crease as I place this, not mostly starting in the inner corner. You would think I'd know the anatomy of an eyeball. Eyelid, who knows? That is really pretty. I do need to marry them together. Th these shades, you guys, are so buttery smooth. It's like a rainbow effect, so you go from the blue to green to the pinky blue. Okay, I'm gonna go in on a flat brush, no setting spray, just a dry brush, just to kind of finesse it right here on the outer edge. And then same thing for Duet, I'm gonna do the same thing in this inner corner. Let's see if it'll pick up. There's like that slight pink shift but the blue and the green playing well together is really pretty. I kinda wanna stick this purpley shade Bora just in the outer V a little bit to deepen it up, but I also don't want it to overpower either because we are gonna do black eyeliner as per usual. I am gonna go back into Bubble, that just beautiful periwinkle blue. And on this outer edge right here, place, place, place before I smudge it out.
mermaid, unicorn, like those are the vibes, like fantasy vibes with this look, you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm gonna go do this eye, some face products, and I'll be back. Okay, for this under eye, I'm thinking I wanna go with this pinky shade right here, which is Tool. And I thought about sticking with like the mint green and the blue under here, but I kind of want to put that purple Bora just in the RV to kind of deepen it up a little bit. So dipping into Tool with my little tiny smudger brush, I'm just gonna tap, 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 and then we'll blend it out. It's very subtle. It's not too concentrated. I feel like it's buildable, which is nice. And I am gonna bring this up a little bit by that blue. Now I'm gonna dip into the shade Bora. Same tiny smudge brush. This is one of those cream to powder formulas, but I'm gonna put it right here in this outer corner area and bring it up a little bit into that blue. Ooh, those are really pretty together. I'm just dragging it a little bit. I'm not placing it. I'm just dragging it over tool ever so slightly to deepen it up just a smidge in the outer V and then a little bit in the outer V right here. Only because when I bring that black eyeliner in, I still want the purplish shade to kind of peek above. So I'm just kind of like finessing it. Not too crazy, not too like dramatic, but I feel like this purpley shade is drawing this out a little bit more. Do you see the difference? It's a crazy halo eye. <laughs> so we still get the blue, we get the purple. Am I crazy or did that just kind of pull the purple out of that a little bit more? You guys, I still wanna play with the shade Lemoncello. So I'm gonna take that on my little pencil brush and I'm gonna pick that up and place it in the inner corner. This is when I'm like, but wait, there's more. <laughs> it's not too overbearing. That shade is so beautiful. It has like the slightest yellow hue. And I think those shades play well together. Now, I don't necessarily want to put that yellow shade in my brow bone. So I'm just gonna grab my Cover FX highlighter. This is what I have on my cheek along with the Fenty Diamond Balm. That is what is on here, is these two together. <laughs> but I'm gonna take this middle shade Sunlight and just run it across the brow bone. Give it a little like glisten. Let me go do some brows, eyeliner, mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and this is the final look. Let me know your thoughts. I'm, I'm actually really intrigued and impressed by how it turned out. So I did take a picture of the finished look and sent it to one of my friends, and she said I was giving her Ice Princess vibes, which I'll take it. I was getting more like mermaid or unicorn. <laughs> I don't know. This palette, like I said earlier in the video, I wasn't so sure about it when I first saw it. And then I finally decided I was gonna purchase it. Now, looking at this color story, there are some beautiful colors in here. This shade door is really the only deep dark shade in here, but I like how it played with this shade bubble. It's beautiful. The way it is out here blended together and then it actually pulled the purple in the shade Duet, which is this beautiful shade right here. This palette, very surprising. I do like the shimmers in here. The mattes that I used played well together. And I think the blendability on it is really, really nice. So far, every Natasha Denona palette that I've purchased has been stunning. 
I love the quality. The colors are beautiful. They work well together. The pigment's amazing. And the shimmers. The shimmers, you guys. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Are you picking this up? Are you not really into it? Do you have enough pastel eyeshadow palettes? Because I know I have some, and I never really got around to playing around with them. But maybe I need to dig into the collection a little bit more. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one.